Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ost and Mare, and in today's video we're gonna talk about this saturation and exciting. And of course learn how to use that stuff in electronic dance music. As you can see we use a FAB filter Saturn for saturation. It's quite simple to handle, however it's got many functions and features here, and beyond that it's even multi-band. And that allows you to use the Saturn not only as a traditional saturator, but also as an exciter, a truly multiband exciter. And that works much, much better than normal EQing. You just select the frequency range you want to excite and pull it up. So let's get starting. Ask Enmire Production Studio provides you the high quality online services, mixing, mastering, music arrangements, soundtracks, and many more. For the contacts, visit ostenmire.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and get minus 10% on mixing and mastering by Austin Mayer. For more details visit austinmayer.com or facebook.com slash austinmayerofficial. We have here some instrumental tracks as a reference. This is guitar and some pianos. And also we have my brand voice, which is quite useful for broadcasting and radio commercials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Austin Mare tutorials. As you could hear, everything sounds really strong and fat. First we start with the guitar. This is a sampled acoustic guitar from Contact, library called Acoustic Legends. Let's switch off all the inserts here. And let's hear what happens. As you can hear, the difference is massive. And it's not only because of the volume level. First comes the Fab Filter Saturn. We're gonna delete the old one and create the totally new processing just to show you how it works. As you can see, this is a default, empty, fresh edit plugin window. Unfortunately, most of the producers just don't know what is that and what is useful for and so far and so on. So now we try to explain you. As we said, this plugin is multiband. You just hit the plus on the top of the window to separate the band range. Once again, and we have already three bands here. Everything is customizable. But I think that now we will create only two bands. I think it's enough. This is necessary because the low and high frequencies will be processed different. That means that for each selected band range we have totally different parameters of these knobs. Which is truly superb and comfortable. So let's start to work with the high mids and highs. There are many algorithms of saturation and distortion. In this case we're gonna use a clean tube. In default mode is always warm tape, so you have to change it every time. And for the lows we're gonna select a warm tube. I love the tube sound, and I think you too. Let's hear. With this knob we're increasing the saturation level, the amount of the harmonics. To explore how does the saturation work, you just may test it on the pure sine wave. Each knob is adjustable only by hearing, there is no science here. Let's add some harmonics once again. We have also a dynamic knob here. This is uh, some kind of compression, but it's not. But in some cases it's really useful. Yeah, this is really better, but I think it still sounds quite dark. It still needs to be brighter. Let's add one more band for the highs. As you noticed, we use that instead of the equalizer. Let's check it out.
I think we have done with this satun. Let's compare before and after. Enjoy the difference. Yeah, it just works like magic. This is a huge, huge difference. However, next comes the normal EQ. This is a FabFilter Pro-Q2. We use it only to cut some frequencies, not for adding. And of course, for analyzing. In this case, we cut it off some high mids, which are quite strong after the satoon. Okay, let's add some brilliance. This is about 8 kilohertz. Okay, next we have here a FabFilter Pro C compressor. Looks pretty nice. And sounds great as well. Instead of that, you may also use a Golden Peak Presser from Kiaris Audio. This is a quite interesting plugin. You have definitely seen it in our previous videos. It's also called GPP. And we see that nothing is difficult here. We have Threshold, Release, simply normal parameters. We got knee softness here. And of course, the output gain. There is also a auto gain switch. That works pretty well. On the left side we have some algorithms. So finally, the GPP is a dynamics processing plugin, which works similar to a normal compressor but sounds much more fat and dirty. However, it doesn't eat some frequencies and doesn't add harmonics to the signal. You may also use it on the vocals, which works superb. So you have to get an experience about that. But let's see and hear how does it work on our guitar and compare it with the Pro-C. Now we can hear that the GPP works much better here than the Pro-C. I think it's enough with the guitar. Next comes our piano, a chord piano from Contact, the New York Grand Library. Now we're going to switch on and off the insert effects and processing. Here we go. Yeah, the difference here is also massive. It's uncomparable. Let's see what we have done. First we have the Saturn once again. We're not going to delete it and preload it once again as we did with the guitar. We just show you which parameters we applied to save the time. It's all about three bands. For the first band we have a warm tube, of course. The saturation level. And let's move to the second band. Here we have a clean tube. No, no, I think we will also use a warm tube here. It goes to the top. Okay. Get some tiny corrections again. And let's experience the difference before and after. As you noticed, each time you use this plugging on the instrument, you will pull it up in the mix. That also helps to add the power to the weak instruments, which have bad recorded quality. 
The simple EQing doesn't help here, only exciting. That sounds much more fat, natural and much more musical in your mix. Next comes the lovely Compressor Pro C from FabFilter. And even in this case we compared it with the GPP and preferred to use the second one. That brings much more fatness to the sound. But there is also one instrument that GPP is useless for. The drums and effects. Because it smashes the transients a little bit, the attack. In this case, the normal compressor will help you much better. But let's move back to a piano. I think now it sounds quite fat. Okay, I think it's well done. Next comes our leading piano. This is some kind of uh, Nexus solo piano sounds. Beautiful for the breakdown. Also pay your attention that in this case we also added a high mid frequencies. You may ask us why high frequencies, because on the low frequencies we have a bass line and the kick drum. But on the rest of the samples and instruments we find that the high mids and highs are quite weak. Next comes as always FobFilter Pro Q2. We just cut it off some low frequencies here. And also, if you notice that the high frequencies are too strong, you may just cut off a little bit of highs. Let's hear once again this all with the processing and without the processing, switching on and off the inserts. As you notice, before the processing, the guitar was under the mix, it was damped. But after that, the guitar starts immediately to sound beautiful. But let's move to the radio voice and get an experience how does a FabFilter Saturn sounds on them. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Switch on. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Yeah, here we have the difference. First it was a dry unprocessed signal and then comes powerful voice full of energy. First we have gate here, because it's a voice. Next as always comes our favorite FabFilter Saturn. And as you can see here, we didn't add high frequencies unlike on the instruments. Because the voice processing is different. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. The radio commercial brand voice loves strong compression. That's why in this case we used both the GPP and FabFilter Pro C to make our voice quite fat and overcompressed. 
Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Now I'm going to show you how does the FabFilter Saturn sounds before the whole processing chain. This is really important to get some tiny corrections after applying compression, equalizing and limiting. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Hello, this is my radio voice example recorded into a tube microphone special for Austin Mare tutorials. Finally, we used a DS set, but I'm not going to explain you how it works because it's quite easy. This video was filmed and produced by Kirill Rusanovsky. Okay, I think we have finished for today. This video was not long. We hope you have understood everything. If you still have some questions, please leave your comments below this video. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and SoundCloud. That was Austin Mayer Tutorials. See you next time and goodbye. Have enjoyed this video? Don't forget to like, share and leave your comments. It was Austin Mayer Tutorials, the music and sound production podcast.